I'm going to New York, New York to cover the location where John Lennon was murdered by a psychopath named Mark David Chapman. This guy right here. He had been planning to murder Lennon for three months. He lived in Honolulu, Hawaii at the time, and he told his wife he was going to murder Lennon, but she didn't tell anybody or report it to anybody because my guess is that she didn't believe him or take him serious because, after all, Hawaii is a long way from New York. So, to New York, New York, I dropped some pins and locations to make it easier to locate because it gets a little crowded and confusing in this area. So what Chapman ended up doing is he flew from Hawaii to Atlanta, and then from Atlanta he flew to New York. When he was in New York, he arrived Saturday, December 6, 1980, and stayed at the West Side YMCA on West 63rd Street, which is right here which happens to be only nine blocks from John Lennon's residence right up here. So this is where he stayed the first night. We'll go down to Street View here and check that out. You can see the YMCA right here. And this is where he stayed that first night on December 6th. The next day, he didn't stay at the YMCA. He actually went to the Sheraton, which is a little further south and slightly west right here and he stayed here the night of December 7th to the morning of December 8th. Now there's a lot of Sheratons in New York and the information I found I'm pretty certain this is the location where he stayed. I could be wrong but I'm pretty certain this is it. Now early in the morning on December 8th he woke up and left the Sheraton and he took a taxi. He took a taxi to John Lennon's residence which is or was right here. This location is called the Dakota House. It's a giant apartment complex where a lot of celebrities live. It's kind of a beautiful building and you're going to see here in a minute or in a second that right here this is the building and this is the location. So he arrived here out in front. This was the entrance and the exit where John Lennon and his wife and all the residents would go in and out of. So he hung out here for uh, pretty much the whole day. I don't know exactly what time he got there in the morning, but he got there early enough to hang out. He was talking to a lot of John Lennon fans that were hanging out over here, and he was also talking to the doorman here. In fact, he was so busy talking to the doorman at one point in the morning that he didn't see John Lennon pull up and get out of a taxi and walk into the front gate here to get to his apartment. He didn't even notice it. He was so busy talking. However, later that morning, Mark Ch he did he did meet up with the uh, with the housekeeper who was returning from a walk with John Lennon and Yoko Ono's 5-year-old son Sean. And as they were walking up, Chapman walked up to the 5-year-old son, reached out, shook his hand and told him he was a beautiful boy. That's pretty creepy, I think. Well, Chapman hung out here all day long and he had an album with him. He had a I don't know what album it was. And at 5 o'clock in the evening, or 5 p.m., uh, John Lennon, Yoko Ono, came out, and they were getting into a limousine that was parked right up front here. They were going to a recording studio. Yoko Ono got into the limousine, and Chapman walked up to John Lennon and asked him for his signature on the album. John Lennon said, well, he asked him if he would sign it. John Lennon said, sure, he would sign it, and he signed it. There were a lot of Lennon fans there, and there were also some amateur photographers there. One of the amateur photographers took a photo. It was this photo right here, and this is actually John Lennon signing the album handed to him by the murderer, Mark David Chapman. And in the background, you can see the psychopath, Mark David Chapman, standing right here as John Lennon signs the album. Many years later, 20 years later, the psychopath would say that having John Lennon sign the album was just a ruse to get him relaxed so that when he came back, that Chapman would be able to shoot him easier. But this right here, this photo could very well be the last public photo taken or the last photo taken by a fan of John Lennon before he was murdered. After John Lennon signed the album, he got into the limousine with Yoko and they went to the recording studio, which was about six and a half miles away, which means this is a one-way street. They had to go down this way down Columbus Avenue, I believe it is, and it turns into 9th Street at some point. And they had to come all the way down to this area, right here, to the record plant studio, 
make a left turn on West 44th Street, and they went to right here. 321 West 44th Street, right here. This is the place where they went to record whatever they were recording. It's a, it's a recording studio, and it appears to be like it's still active. I don't know. But this is where they went. And then sometime after 10 o'clock, they both came out, got back into the limousine, and went back to their apartment, which means they had to go down the road to 8th Street, make a left turn on 8th Street, and take 8th Street all the way back to the Dakota house where their apartment was. Now when they arrived back here at the Dakota house, Chapman was, was still out front waiting. It was about 10.50 in the evening, almost 11 o'clock. Everybody said about 10.50. Yoko Ono, while well, the, the limousine pulled up, Yoko Ono got out first, started walking in. John Lennon got out after her, and then, depending on who you talk to, the killer himself said he just came up behind him from this area here and fired off five shots, four of which struck John Lennon in the back and the shoulder, and that he was dead. But witnesses said that Chapman said John Lennon's name, John Lennon slightly turned around, Chapman was in a crouching position with the gun out in front of him, he fired five shots, struck John Lennon in the back. John Lennon said, I'm shot. He kind of went over here to this little office that the doorman sits in. He went in the direction maybe to get help or maybe to crawl inside to possibly get some cover. But he collapsed when he got there, and they said there was a profuse amount of blood coming out. After he shot John Lennon, he dropped the gun. The doorman came out, kicked the gun away from him, said to him, Do you realize who you just shot? Chapman said, I just shot John Lennon. Then he sat down calmly on the curb, I'm guessing, or sat down out here somewhere calmly, pulled out a book titled The Catcher in the Rye and waited for the police to arrest him. The police showed up and didn't wait for an ambulance. They put John Lennon in the back of a squad car, took him to the nearest hospital, and he was pronounced dead at 11.07 that evening, about 15 to 17 minutes later. Now at this time, as of today, Chapman is being held over here in New York, West New York, far west New York, right here at the Attica, Correction, Attica Correctional Facility. Hopefully, never going to get out. And hopefully, in my opinion, I'm hoping anyway that he's rotting away in here. But this is the prison that he is in. And most likely will not get out. So this is the location over here where John Lennon was murdered, right there in front of his apartment. And what happened to his, after he was died, Yoko Ono and John Lennon didn't have a funeral. Yoko Ono didn't give him a funeral. What she did do is cremate his body, then take the ashes and spread them in Central Park. And they said his ashes were spread within sight of his apartment. So his apartment is here. I'm not sure what within sight means. It could be, it could mean that it was, his ashes were spread in this area here, or it could mean that they were spread in some other place that you can see from his apartment. I'm assuming that his apartment was up higher a few floors, but I'm just going to make the assumption that Yoko Ono took John Lennon's ashes from him being cremated and spread them in this area right in here of Central Park. So there you have it, the exact death location of one of the Beatles, John Lennon, right here from Google Earth.